Now you can prepare these tuna patties a day before or a few hours before because they literally take just a few minutes to cook. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is an old time recipe with a number of different variations out there, but mostly they all taste very similar and they're just delicious. I love this, especially with, say, a side of vegetables. So join me today as I make my version of tuna patties. Okay, so to start this off, we're going to start with the main ingredient and that's our canned tuna. Now you can use tuna in spring water or brine, it's completely up to you. Now what I've done is I've just drained most of it, but there's still a little bit of liquid in there. So leave that in there, we want a little bit left over so it's not completely dry. So just place that straight into a bowl. And this is about 400 grams worth. Now it says on the can 425 grams, but obviously it's going to be a bit less when you drain most of the liquid out. And it also works out to about 15 ounces, give or take. But if you're not sure, just Google convert grams to ounces and you'll get exactly what you're after. Okay, so we have our tuna. So next I'm going to add in, say about two tablespoons of mustard. If the mustard would come out, there we go. So about two tablespoons worth. And of course, this is all to taste, so you can add a little bit or a lot. Then next I'm going to add in half a cup of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of mixed herbs, then about a teaspoon worth of lemon zest. So we're just going to make that all. Try and use fresh when you can, it's always best. And I really enjoy zesting lemon, it just smells delicious. Okay, so once we've got about a teaspoon worth in there, from the lemon we just zested, I'm just going to squeeze on, say about a tablespoon worth of lemon juice. As a tip, make sure you take out the seeds. Whoops, left one in there. Just so when you're squeezing it, the lemon, the seeds, you know, don't come out. So just squeeze on, you know, roughly about a tablespoon worth. And then we're just going to add some salt, and black pepper. Okay, so next we're just going to give that a very good mix through, just so everything is nicely combined. Okay, so at this point, once it's all combined, feel free to give it a bit of a taste, just so you can tell if you've got enough salt or pepper, and there's nothing wrong with taking a taste of this, it's all perfectly safe. Just so you can decide if you need a little bit more salt or in this case I think I'll add a little bit more pepper. Okay so once we've mixed that through we can add the final ingredient and that's just one egg. And again get in there and give it a good mix through. That's why you want to leave the egg to last. Just so you can taste test it just to make sure it's up to your liking. Okay, so I've just got a plate here. So we're going to divide this into four equal parts. Just like so. So we've got one there. And I'm just going to place that on the plate and just, just pat it down just like that. Just so it's a, a decent sized patty size. Decent sized patty size. How many times can I say that one? And we'll just half the last one. And our final one. Okay, so we have our four tuna patties. Now you can put these on the fry pan straight away if you choose. But what I recommend is place them in the fridge for at least half an hour to an hour. Give them a chance just to harden up a little bit. And that way the, there's a much better chance that they're going to hold their shape and not fall apart in the fry pan as they're cooking. So when it comes time for dinner, all you really have to do is just place them onto the fry pan because they really don't take that long to cook. But make sure you do free, uh, refrigerate them just to make sure they hold their shape. So I'm going to place these in the fridge for an hour just to be on the safe side. Now you've been asking for them and I have delivered. So please check out toddskitchen.com for my new and exciting Todd's Kitchen branded coffee mugs. Okay, so I've just taken our patties out of the fridge so they're set nicely. And finally, I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. 
Now, if it's a non-stick one like this, you can just do it as is. But personally, I like to add just a little bit of olive oil. Now, this is purely for taste. It really does add a bit of a difference. And I'm not finished yet. I'm also going to add just a bit of butter. So we're just going to just let that butter melt down first and mix it in with that olive oil. This really does create a lovely taste, trust me. Okay, so with our butter melted and mixed in with that delicious olive oil. And let's not forget it's on a medium to high heat. We're just going to carefully place our patties onto our fry pan. Now it's very simple. It really doesn't take long to cook these up. Now it's very simple because you're basically just heating them up and give them and giving them yeah, just a nice outer coating, but also nice and warm on the inside. And the rest of it is just the egg. And as you know, egg cooks very fast. And the rest of it is just the egg. Now there's only one egg and that's mixed in between all four of these. So there's really not a lot of egg in there. Basically, all we have to do is just cook them for four minutes on one side, four minutes on the second side, and they're done. And that's just how simple and fast they are to cook. That's why this is a perfect recipe to make the day before or a few hours before you're ready to actually serve dinner. Okay, so it's been four minutes, so we just have to simply carefully flip them over and just look how lovely that is. So medium to high temperature and they've come up perfect after four minutes. So we're just going to cook these for a further four minutes and they're done. Okay, so it's been four minutes. Now we don't want to cook it any longer, otherwise they'll start to go dry. But also they have soaked up a lot of that lovely olive oil and butter. So you're still going to have a moist cake, but that's also going to add the extra flavor to it too. So, so just simply take them off and they're going to be ready to serve straight away. Mm, yum yum. And there we have a very delicious, very simple tuna patties. Now they're a fantastic and healthy treat by themselves. And to spread them around, just add some fresh vegetables with them and or salad. So they're fantastic by themselves, fantastic with a healthy side. Incredibly simple to make, but the best thing is, they taste simply delish.